Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very exciting video of exponential equation. You can see equation is x factorial power x equal to x factorial. So in involvement of factorial, that's why we will talk about domain. We will talk about continuous and discrete graphs. Graphs will come little later. We will solve algebraically first. Then we will see how we can analyze through graph also. So let's start. I will start the detailing of this exponential equation with factorial or better is to say domain. So if I will ask what will be the domain, then you can see factorial is defined. Factorial is used actually. So what is the domain of x factorial? The most important word is discrete. Graph would be discrete. Discrete means if I am putting x0, x0 factorial is 1. I am putting 1, so 1 factorial again 1. If I am putting 2, then value will be 2 factorial, so 2. If I am putting 3, 3 factorial, 6. So it is like that. You can see. It is not continuous graph. It is defined only for integral values of x. So you cannot define continuously. In between the numbers are rational also. So you cannot define. So important point is domain is whole number. First important point is the domain is whole number. Now if you analyze this graph, let us talk about only basics about the graph. See, this is x factorial, the graph of x factorial. You can see the growth 1, 1, 2, 6, and so on. Now come to the left hand side x factorial power x. So I will write x, y. Let me consider this is equal to y. Okay, 0, 0 factorial power 0. Value will be 1. 1, 1 factorial power. 1 value will be 1 same same as x factorial now 2 2 factorial power 2 value will be 4 earlier it was 2 now 3 3 factorial power 3 6 power 3 216 you can see how rapid the growth of x factorial power x similar as 2 raised to the power x or 3 raised to the power x or otherwise exponential function so if you will we will come to the graph part little later let us solve this exponential equation using algebraically so let's solve by algebra i will solve by two methods first one is using log let us start by taking log i will take log of the function so log x factorial power x is equal to log x factorial so by the property log a power b can be written as b log a so our equation will be x log x factorial equal to log x factorial take log x factorial to the left hand side so x log x factorial minus log x factorial is equal to 0. x minus 1 take log x factorial common out equal to 0. Now you can easily see either x minus 1 will be 0 that means x will be equal to 1 or log x factorial will be 0. That means x factorial will be 10 raised to the power 0. That means 1. So x factorial will be 1. Now you can see, you can see in the graph also, x factorial will be 1 in the two case, either x0 or x1. So x0, x equal to 1. So ultimately, 
two solutions are there x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Now let's solve this equation, exponential equation using a power b equal to 1 form. Because of we know that x factorial cannot be equal to 0. It is true. So I will divide both sides by x factorial. So x factorial power x divided by x factorial is equal to 1. Okay. Now I will write x factorial power x minus 1 is equal to 1 by the exponent property that is a power x over b a power y then I can write a power x minus y by the property of exponent. So powers will be subtracted. So x factorial power x minus 1 equal to 1. Now three cases we will talk about. Quickly we will write all the three cases. Case 1, case 2 and case 3. Case 1, recall a power b equal to 1 form. a equal to 1 and b belongs to real number. So a means base. So x factorial equal to 1 and b should come out real number. So b is power x minus 1 should be real. Okay, let's find out x factorial equal to 1. That means x equal to either 0 or 1. In these two cases, x equal to 0 and 1, factorial of value is 1. Now check value x equal to 0, so minus 1, that is real. And x equal to 1, 0, that is also real. That means both values are true. Case 2. Case 2 is power is 0. So x minus 1 will be 0. Condition is x factorial should not be equal to 0, which is always true. So no need to check this because factor x factorial cannot be 0. So x will be equal to 1. So that is again same result x 0 1 and x equal to 1. Now third case. Third case is base is even. See x factorial is equal to minus 1 and its exponent is even. x minus 1 should be equal to even. Even number. x factorial cannot be equal to negative 1. That value is incorrect. So this condition holds incorrect. So you will reject this category of solution. So ultimate solution from this method also x0 and 1. Now come to the graphical part. I have taken from Desmos. If you will plot it, this graph is not correct. Why? You can see it is not defining complex number, negative points where, where holes are there, oscillatory behavior, Desmos doesn't hold true. So point is why it is not true because x, the domain of x is only whole numbers. First point and that should be non-negative. See graph is also defining in the negative domain. So what my point is x0 only you have to check on integral points so automatically the graph will convert into discrete graph x equal to 2 you can compare now x factorial power x we have drawn that graph at x equal to 2 the graph value was 6 so respectively you can compare only two intersection points you will be getting at x equal to 0 and at x equal to 1. Both values are same. You can see there. And graph would be only discrete. At x equal to 2, you can see the values. x factorial power x would be 4. You can see this point. This is your 4. At x equal to 2 and x equal to 3, that value is 216. So growth of this red color graph means this function would be much rapid than the growth of x factorial.
so it will intersect and then they will not meet up to infinity might be possible infinity they will meet i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you find utility thank you